What's going on guys? Uh, Cage back here again. Welcome to my build video. So if you've seen my previous videos of the boss kills and stuff like that, you're probably wondering how the hell do I deal so much damage. Well, all that will be explained in this video, along with all the equipment and stats, as well as guardian spirits, and etc. So to start off, I am running the Kingo set. Uh, now I am, before I start on anything else, I am an A Agility, I am the maximum weight that you can possibly have to have A Agility. More on the stats in a little bit. Um, I'm extremely loyal to A Agility, I dislike B or C. Um, so this is a modified version uh, of the video, of a video I've seen and I, I modified it to my playstyle and I feel like this has better potential so let's get started with this so to start off uh, we have the Kingo set and as you can tell I do have a Yasukani Magatama you don't need two the only reason I have the second one is because of the bonus water damage um, and the set has a water sword built in so that does balance it out it adds, adds more damage etc um, so, I am wearing medium armor, and I know this is a light agility build, but the medium armor is kind of what makes it. So, to start off, um, so it reduces the set requirements by one with the Yasakani Magatama, so I do have one, two, three, and the weapon counts as four. So, it thinks I have five pieces on, um, and then I have the Sanada set, uh, one piece. Um, originally, I didn't have a, I never had a torso armor, um, and then the headpiece, I never really had that until just recently when I modified uh, and enhanced the build a bit. So, um, so I ended up doing, um, I had the Kingo pants, but then I also noticed that the Sanada pants, uh, Sanada pants, or a piece, if you have that, you'll get an additional final blow damage, which is huge, 19%. So I ended up removing the pants and switching them out for the Sanada because one, the Sanada is lighter and two, I'm not, it's not like I was missing any bonuses um, and I'm not getting the six piece bonus because, um, I mean, the 7% is not terrible. Um, that would put me in B status and that's something I'm avoiding. So um, we have the five pieces because of the Yasakana, Yasakani Magatama. Uh, basically, this build revolves around final blow damage and damage from behind. So, um, trying to get behind enemies and positioning is key with this build. Uh, this is your secondary. You don't need this. You can also swap to something, say, like this to get additional you know, night rain damage, 30%. Your secondary weapon is whatever you want to use. Um, I, depending on what I feel like, if I'm fighting a boss, I might switch out and add this. Um, it's just depending on the boss and depending on my playstyle, what I feel like doing. Uh, so to start off, let's go over the skills that I have. This is a sword build, mostly. Um, you can benefit with the other weapons, but primarily this is a sword build and you kind of focus on that uh, for the most part as you can see here I have basically everything except for this counter which I dislike where moves them from behind and slaps them I don't like that counter um, I would definitely recommend getting all the passives on the skill trees um, the kick is pretty good um, and then flux changing stances extremely well get your key back um, more key is good and the mystic art we're gonna go with for this build is sort of execution yes I know it did get a nerf but it is still viable and I'm still being I'm still able to do pretty nice damage so make sure you get that once you unlock the mystic arts um, I a quick draw staple is a must you don't really need Tiger Sprint, you don't ne really need Night Rain, um, they're nice to have. I actually allocated Tiger Sprint to low stance and Night Rain to high stance, and I can show my shortcuts a bit later in the video. 
Um, so yeah, get the passives, um, and then where else here? Um, uh, then you need this move is pretty good um, because it's literally the only move in high stance. So, and that's another reason why I added Night Rain to high stance to give it more variety. Uh, Haze two is a must with this. Um, it's great because the counter jabs them from behind with the, the blade and then you can get a nice quick draw and then you can position yourself for a final blow from behind and you'll get more damage out of it quite a bit um, and then back wave not necessarily needed um, I do love this move so it is a must for me and uh, you definitely need swift step going behind enemies is a huge thing um, doesn't work very well with uh, human enemies but it does work very well with like larger yokai and stuff like that uh, get all the uh, dashes gain you key pulse uh, the main important one that you really want to get in terms of passives first I would definitely say the Kusari Gama get the armor piercer uh, the final blow damage get all three tiers that's an extra 12% damage final blow definitely need that um, get this one here shadow strike you get an additional 12% damage from behind. Can't pass that off. Um, not necessarily needed, but it's also pretty helpful. Um, more HP is never bad. As well as when your health gets lower, uh, you reduce the damage you take. Um, and then spear. The spear ones, they're not too great. I mean your health drops lower than 30%. I mean, it's not that much of damage output for that. Uh, and then the dual swords, this one you need to get uh, close combat damage, always good. An extra 20% when their health is full, as well as key recovery while blocking. Definitely really helpful. Let's move on to Ninjutsu. Um, I don't really do too much here with Ninjutsu aside from first and foremost maxing out my arrows and matchlock. I don't use the cannon um, because I feel like the matchlock has more ammo you can carry and it's more reliable to have than, you know, the cannon because the cannon kind of leaves you vulnerable. Uh, max out your elixir count, always good. Um, not needed, but they are decent. They got a, they're, they're a lot stronger to some degree. Uh, than power pill other uh, than um, carnage so not bad uh, you don't need to fully max these out uh, again ninjutsu is not fully relied on too much uh, definitely need the sneak attack because that favors our build and then omnio uh, their weakness is not a bad um, I'd probably get all those um, as I started using this build, lifesteal became less and less relevant. It's kind of a situational thing, and it works more so on humans. Um, it, one in particular that it really wrecks him is Munishige Tachibana. Uh, it basically makes him trash, basically. Um, uh, for magic, obviously, for me, I prefer Awakening. I don't want to sit there and cast my spells. Uh, I want to be able to get my buff on the spot. They do last a decent amount. Carnage does last a little bit longer than it used to. Um, I personally love to use Kekai. Kekai is very underrated. A lot of people don't use it. Um, and it's it's such a good talisman. I don't know why you would not use it. You get your key back real quick and you automatically walk over Yokai pools and purify them. Um, I don't know why it is underrated. It is such a good talisman. Definitely use that. Um, more health from elixirs, definitely get that. I'm still working on getting this at some point, but it's not fully, fully needed. I do like the extend purification range. That is very good. Um, now the bread and butter of this damage of the whole thing is carnage. Get all six of these. Uh, make sure you're ready all, all three of them so you have all six. And then extraction talisman for me is a must. Um, and you'll find out in a second. And then capacity is always good. So let's go over the, the actual stats um this is my current character um you don't need to get this high to do the damage that i'm doing um the ones you really need to focus on specifically 
is body needs to be 13 unless you forge your own Kingo then you, you can drop the requirement for strength and body to 6 but I just left it normal um, you could reset and make your own um, set that way it's less and you can allocate those points elsewhere heart needs to be 99 stamina needs to be 99 because of the weight um, and then strength needs to be at 42 um, I just bumped in an extra point not needed skill well it, it gives a little bit of damage output increase for a single sword but it's primarily for dual swords um, it's not bad um, in terms of guardian spirit of choice I will show you in a second magic you want to get it to the maximum capacity which is 30 to be able to carry the most amount you can uh, ninjutsu I would say do as much as you feel like you need to it's not needed it's just there for you know bonus damage etc for your um, your bow your match lock if you use the cannon um, and then your elixir count um, if those are something you like bump points in there and that should be good the guardian spirit of choice is uh, Tenjin Kajaku and I'm using that because the damage output you can do with this guardian spirit is insane you stack that with carnage and then your perks on your weapon and you'll be doing quite a bit um, he does I believe have a 25 requirement so get that to at least 25 plus you should be able to use all the guardian spirits from then uh, in terms of perks on my sword uh, first it's already locked to water so that's something you can't change uh, you definitely get close combat damage uh, it maxes out at 20 percent get a uh, get final blow damage as high as you can that does max out I've read it's between 24.9 or 25 percent one or the other but either way it's point one difference it's not the end of the world you definitely need change to heart for the sword um, and then that will scale and give you a huge damage buff as well um, and then this is basically my 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 talismans and stuff that I use for you don't need ground fire you can use uh, something else in its spot um, like life steel could possibly use or I use ground fire just for like revenants or human bosses sometimes and I just want to toy around with them just for fun um, the bread and butter of this build is obviously behind damage from behind the reason we use tension Kajaku let me go to the shrine and show you is because of this right here high stance absorbing Amrita with the extraction talisman because extraction talisman gives you Amrita per hit be it physical or ranged you'll get Amrita um, so that'll increase your buff by a lot so I'm actually going to back out of here real quick and I'll show you a demonstration of why this build is just ridiculous um, oops, let me go and my branch Okay, so I'm going to use Carnage, use Water, I'm going to use Extraction Talisman, and we're going to shoot him in the head, and then absorb the Amrita, get that damage off. And that's the damage, like you can do so much damage with Carnage and then Tenjin Kajaku. But that is the build. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And take it easy, guys.
ましたね。